perfect. Hey, hey sisters. sisters! Hello Winnicunna and welcome back to the beginning of Trimester 2. Also known as one step closer to graduation for us Mills. I know Nadia. People already started committing to colleges. Wow, really? Who are you referring to? Lauren Alkire. Who? Just watch the story I did. On November 14th, many high school seniors around the country were signing their national letters of intent to commit to a college for athletics. Our very own senior, Lauren Alkire, took part in this exciting day signing her letter. We talked to Lauren to hear more about her commitment. So I started playing field hockey when I was in fourth grade. Uh, I started playing at Seacoast United. The recruiting press process um, started pretty early for me. Um, I knew like at a young age that I wanted to go further with my field hockey. I narrowed it down towards my like sophomore year and that's when I really started talking to the coaches of the schools I was looking at. And I knew that like Northeastern was always one that I wanted to go to. Lauren was joined by many of her friends and family and coaches, all to watch her finally fulfill her dream of playing at Northeastern. We talked to Lauren's mom to hear more about the process. Lauren has worked very hard at this since she's been in fifth grade. She sets her alarm to get up for all of her practices, to go on the runs. She's missed numerous holidays and events because she has to go to a field hockey tournament. Um, she knew early on, maybe around freshman year, that she wanted Northeastern. Um, she tried her hardest to get to this school, um, narrowed it down by sophomore year, and pretty much here we are. To be able to play at such a high level is a great accomplishment that Lauren has worked very hard for. We talked to her coach to learn more about her as a player. Um, she's very passionate about the sport, you can tell, and she works hard. She always stays late for practices, comes early. Um, she's a hard worker, she's very vocal, she's also a team player, she sets her team, team up on the field. Make sure to wish Lauren congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. For WHTV, this is Mills and Melissa. Stuff. Oh, hey! I'm proud of my little girl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wow, so proud of my buddy. Didn't someone else just commit for field hockey recently? Yeah, just last week, another field hockey player, Audrey Canfield, signed her letter of commitment to play Division II field hockey at Southern New Hampshire University this upcoming fall. Audrey's been playing field hockey since second grade for Seacoast United and has played for Winnicott at varsity team since she was a sophomore. Congratulations, Audrey, on the commitment, and we wish you all the success in college. Not again, Nadia. What are you doing? Coding is my new thing. I'm trying to hack the NSA. That's so illegal on so many levels. Yeah, you're right, but like, that's the fun in it. Or we could watch the story Matt did on Danny and see how he put his coding skills to use. Yeah, I guess we could do that too. Computer science is one of the most challenging fields of work that there is. You ever wonder how your phone or laptop actually works? It all comes down to code. And Winnicott kind of senior Danny Webb McLean has found his passion in coding software and breaking down code for operating systems such like those in your iPhone. A uh, general overview of what I do is uh, reverse engineering for uh, usually anti-cheats for games um, and reverse engineering Apple's operating system so uh, jailbreaks are compatible and uh, then I do some coding at school which is Java. So it started as a hobby, uh, probably only doing it for a couple, like maybe an hour or two a day and um, now over time it's pretty much developed into its own little job so I'd say usually or typically for a week I'm probably doing around 30-35 hours of coding. The main thing that really got me into programming was having the freedom to really create and do anything you really want. Being self-taught how to program and tamper with devices at your fingertips is quite impressive and something that Danny thinks makes him a very unique student here at Winnicunit. So I started with um, Scratch, which is just a really basic block editor, 
which with like predefined blocks of code and they just click together and you can form pretty basic programs and everything is just self-taught through um, a great website called Code Academy and uh, Udemy all have great access to a bunch of free tutorials for coding and ways for people to start and get into it. If you're ever having computer problems or maybe you want to create programs on a computer at your fingertips, Danny is the guy to go to. We wish him the best of luck in his goal to become a computer software engineer. For WHTV, Matt and Julia. Okay, yeah, I guess that was pretty sick. I know. And if you want to learn more about coding, I think there's something going on at Winnicomet soon. Funny you say that, Mills, because I've heard all about it. On December 13th, Holly Library is hosting an hour of code session after school full of coding challenges for students to learn and show their skills. Hour of Code is a global organization that exposes millions of teens worldwide to computer science and coding activities including Minecraft, Star Wars, Disney's Frozen, and many more. They host many programs like the one taking place at Winnicunit, as well as annual global events. All are welcome, and if you have any questions, please contact Mrs. Hall. Wow, technology is getting out of this world. Actually, Mills, technology is starting to get around this world. What? You'll see what I mean after you watch a story that Hannah and Leah did on Shared Studios and their journey to Winnicunit. On Monday, October 29th and Tuesday the 30th, students got to experience talking to foreign students from multiple different countries, including Rwanda, Honduras, Iraq, and Afghanistan. This was all because of Shared Studios, which is a company in Andover that connects to students across the world. We interviewed Stefano Chensi, the Director of Strategic Innovation for Andover Public Schools. It's been around about four or five years. Um, it started as an art installation project. Um, Michelle and Amar, the two founders, were really interested in, in capturing stories from people. Um, around the world and especially people who would never get a chance to speak to each other so they had essentially invented the portal so that strangers could meet with without an agenda and just connect as humans so the portal is neat because while Elwa's in, in Kigali and we're here in Hampton when we both step into the portal we're actually in a new space like the portal's a third space and I think when you do that without an agenda when you let people just meet um, it usually starts on really human terms. Over 50 students from Winnicunit got to experience this firsthand, and we asked them about their experience with the portal. I learned there's like a lot of similar, similar things that we do, that they do too. They do a lot of things, like they, we, they play like video games and like we do too, and like they just, yeah, they just do similar things. Yeah, I thought it was fun. I'd do it again. I'd probably want to do it with someone from like a different country just because now that I talk to someone from Rwanda, I could talk from someone from like Honduras or wherever they have these and I, it would be cool. Mr. Phillips, a teacher from Social Studies Department, is the one who is responsible for bringing Shared Studios to Winnicunna. We really wanted to give the students some exposure to the outside world. Um, it's an opportunity to talk to somebody thousands of miles away, which you'd never get the chance to do um, unless you travel there on your own. So um, it's a really unique way to get students sort of out of the classroom and interacting with the world at large. We hope that Shared Studios experience will continue here for years to come. From WHTV, this is Hannah and Leah. Oh, I totally understand what you're talking about now. You're so funny, right? I stopped by to visit and it was seriously one of the coolest things ever. To be able to talk to someone across the world and compare cultures was super interesting. You're right, Nadia. There's been a lot of culture brought to Winnicott recently. Oh yeah, Culture Matters was last Friday. Maddie and Leah covered the event and caught up with one of the members of the Inca Sun. On Friday, November 30th, Winnicott held its 10th year of Culture Matters. Culture Matters is a program that's been created by the Winnicott World Language Department with help from a grant from the Friends of Winnicott to provide students with cultural experiences. Past performances include Taiko Drummers, the Folk Soul Band, and Aquaba African Percussionists. This year, Inca Sun was able to share their Andino music and culture with us through a number of interactive songs and dances.
They also held a workshop for students interested in learning how to play the pan flute. We got a chance to talk with one of the members during the workshop. Well, um, in has uh, it's been playing here in, in the area of Massachusetts for more than 25 years. And um, everything starts with our director. He learned to play our, the wind instruments and he decided to build his own uh, or create his own group. But the main idea is to bring the Andes, the culture from Andes, which is Peru, Bolivia, Ecuador, to bring it here to USA and try to show uh, the American people what is really the Inca culture. The, of course, I, I love music. Mm -hmm. uh, since I was born, um, I think I was made to play music. But the best part is like you have the chance to meet different people and, and to show the culture. And which is nice is like uh, you can have the chance to teach the kids. Sometimes they are willing to learn. And, and it's nice. It's like a dream control. If you missed it this year, make sure to check it out next year. This is Maddie and Leah for WHTV. Wow, that was super cool. Yeah, I loved that for us. Okay, so we're gonna end this before Nadia says anything else weird. So that was a little rude, but we have no other creative way to end this, so bye. See you next Friday. See you when it kind of. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> everyone, everyone sprints to get up on stage. <laughs> I stopped by and to visit it. Nadia. Nope. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Wow, really? Who are you? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm just oh, should, I just, should I just do the middle part? I don't know. No. My ending is pretty good. No, it's not. Shut up. <laughs>